Hey everybody, welcome back to NCAA 11. We're on that two game losing streak. We lost 52 to nothing against LSU and then 34 to three against Ole Miss. We have significantly easier opponents in this episode, thankfully, against Connecticut, Eastern Michigan, and then we're probably gonna get blown out against Georgia. But it's all good. As long as we average about one W per episode, I will be thrilled. We're still hovering around that 2.1 GPA. Right now, the coach tips are saying, you are a student athlete. I think you need to spend some more time on the student part. I agree. So in this episode, we're going to do the opposite of what we did last episode, where we nearly got suspended because we had a 1.9 GPA. We're activating nerd mode, and we're going to get that 4.0, hopefully, by the end of this episode. Sorry, guys. Can't go out to the clubs. I got to go to the library. It's a bye week, that means no game, and I get to do my favorite thing, hit the books. Now I'm sitting pretty at that 4.0. I can actually get some sleep and maybe go outside or something. Wow, oh, that is a mob of a band. They're rolling deep. Good starting position for us to kick this game off. I have a little more confidence. We might be able to run the ball against Connecticut, so here we go. Go 27. I forget your name, but that's because you're pretty forgettable. Slants and such. Oh, I'm taking off. Look at this running lane. Good block from the tight end downfield. Oh, and I fumbled it, but it goes out of bounds. All calculated. Maybe I'll end this game without negative running yards. That'd be awesome. First and second down, I'll let you get some carries, but third down, no, it's time for uh, big old Drewski to take over. Oh, wrong button. I meant to hit X, and that's okay. Fourth and inches. You know what? I'm going for it. I'm playing aggressive. Maybe I should take the field goal here, but I want the first. On the run, he catches it. We're getting the first down. The aggression pays off. I don't even know if I'll be able to get this off. Okay, I see you tight end. Deflected at the line, that's a shame. Fourth and goal is just too risky, especially when they're only calling goal line plays. Straight through the uprights, good stuff. Let's start out with a little four verts. I see the tight end, way over through him. That's butt cheeks, man, that's terrible. Oh, deflected at the line again. The linebackers and defensive linemen in this game are just so good. This might be one of the harder NCAA games I've probably ever played. It's just hard to get any separation, especially with my terrible receivers. Oh my, I thought his head was gonna pop off like an action figure right there. That looked painful. Oh, everyone can leap to the heavens. Defense is stopping him, though. I mean, we're not a very prolific offense. Wait for him to get open. Nice. You can't really throw it immediately because those linebackers will get you. Tight end's not bad, though. He gets some good plays. Cross the middle. Nice. We're moving the chains. I don't see anything. Oh, that's picked off. That's a bad throw. I shouldn't have forced that. Nothing was open. Oh, don't tell me he's going to get a pick six. Please tackle him. Oh, no. First and goal. Well, it wasn't a pick six. And I'm injured. That's about as bad as you can get on that play. I, I had to sit out an entire quarter because I was hurt. He's open. Broke one. Good. Let's run that again. When you get a good play like that, you gotta stay on top of it. This coach is pretty bad at calling plays. I see him beat over there. I think I overthrew him. Oh, we caught it, let's go! Oh, we did not score a lot on this team. I haven't thrown a touchdown pass since week one and that's a 47 yard bomb. Oh, it feels so good to score. When you do something right in this series, you definitely feel it, man. That's awesome. The Commodores are back on top, I'm feeling good. CB got underneath the defender and makes a good catch. All right, I see you. Why? Can I make this throw on the run? Holy moly, no, I can't. Not even close. Oh, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, outrun him, please. Dang it. It is so difficult to get past the defensive ends. 
Just run up the gut. Oh, so close. Fourth and one. We gotta go for it, coach. Come on. I know we can pull this off. Probably don't need a four verticals. Go, go, go. Just stick to the sidelines. We got it, barely. <laughs> Let's go. It's not the prettiest offense you've ever seen, but we're somehow making it work. Very scared over the top. He got it. Keep running. First and 10 in the red zone. All right, now I'll toss it to the running back. Actually, let's go straight up the middle. What are you doing? Look at that open space. Take advantage of it, 21. Nice. Let's see if we can get two passing touchdowns in this game. This is for you, Aaron Andrews. Across the middle. Nobody's covering him. That's a touchdown. I'm feeling a lot better this game. Still got to hold on, though. We still have a whole nother quarter left to play. Oh, what a catch. Thought he was going to drop that one. Coach wants the four verts. I'll give it a go. Gets it away. That's probably off the mark. Oh, hit him in the toe. Put your hands out, son. That could have been a touchdown. Picked off again. The deep in route, second interception of the game for me. I'm literally throwing this game away. They scored again all because of me. All right, we got to start running the ball, starting to kill some clock. I'm feeding UConn, man. Oh, no. I broke it off. Can I make the pass? Picked off for a third time. I'm so sad. I was so excited to shed off that sack, and then I just give it to him in the red zone. They scored twice. Our special teams fumbled it. No. We had this. We were up 17-7. to I throw two interceptions. Come on. Dang it. Can't lose this game, man. I'm not letting it happen. A minute and a half to go. It's going to take a miracle. As far as I can throw it, he's going to have to turn around and catch that. Huh, <sighs> this is tough. I'm actually upset at myself for throwing this one. I gave him two easy touchdowns. Actually, three easy interceptions. I'm just launching that one. Yikes, bro. Yeah, don't punt it. What are we thinking? Oh, we got the first down. We're still alive. It's not looking pretty. We would have to get an onside kick or something. We're still cooking. I see a B. Come on, run. Oh, he broke it. Keep running. All the way. There's a flag. Oh, no. What could this be? It's a face mask. I'll take it first and goal on the one-yard line. Coach wants us to throw it. Uh, let's just run it in, coach. Actually, no. Fine, whatever. I'll run it in. Oh, I can't even... The acceleration of my guy is so trash. Come on, guys. Hustle to the line. What are we doing? Deflected down, third down. There we go, third touchdown of the game. It's all up to this onside kick. We're gonna go for two, so we're gonna just be down by three. Gets it away, he caught it! What a catch! Just a three point ball game. We need the onside kick. We're definitely gonna watch it. This will be a miracle comeback. It's definitely my fault that we're in this situation to begin with, but I still believe in the Commodores. Do they catch it? Okay, we still got two timeouts. Not, no reason to freak out just yet, guys. Usually CPU just runs plays. Yep. Fumble it, please. You know you want to. Call that timeout. Oh, he clobbered him. That was our chance. They're not kneeling it yet. That's good. Just hit stick him again. No fumble here. Well, that'll do it right there. Darn shame, man. Oh, wait, we get the ball back. What the heck just happened? I just said skip until on field, and here we are. Launch it. Come on. Swat it down. We still got a chance. 11 seconds. Oh, I see what happened. They scored. So it's a six-point game. Interesting strategy by them. They could have just kneeled it down and called it right there. Come on, launch it. 
Oh, off the tip. No, four seconds left. Literally a miracle. He's calling vertical tight end out on the last play of the game. Whatever, man. This is all of it. Just got to heave it. Somebody makes something happen. Send it. Come on, baby. Hits the ground. What a devastating loss. I'll take all the flack in the comments. That That's one we sh definitely should have won. I like the effort to try and come back there at the end. I'm so sad that we lost that. Can we stop playing the fight song? We're already in the post-game, like, menus. Threw for three passing touchdowns a day, but I also threw three terrible interceptions. 15 to 35, 280 passing yards. 32 rushing yards, so that's our best rushing yardage all season. It's our first close game we've had in this entire series so far, so the bar for instant classics, it's pretty low right now. Yes, okay, we did take the L, but at least we get another cutscene. This is all I wanted in life. There is still a long way to go in the college football season, but our student athlete is off to a good start after a fine performance this week. His great play this week didn't go unnoticed. For the second time this year, he was named player of the game. Now we bring in our own Kirk Herbstreet to break down the game film. Thanks, EA. For Vanderbilt, it was a heartbreaking loss. If one or two plays go the other way, it could have been a win. The team may have suffered a defeat. However, our road to glory athlete was the highlight of the matchup. He had no trouble finding a receiver downfield. Although the ball seemed to bounce the other way most of the game, our young man continued to fight and battle and give his team a chance to come out on top. Unfortunately, they came up just a little bit short. He's created a lot of early momentum for himself that should carry him easily throughout the rest of the season. All right, EA. Kirk Herbstreet, thank you very much. There's still a lot of football left to be played this year. We'll continue to bring you updates on the road to glory as the season continues. I'm Aaron Andrews for EA Sports. All we really want in this series is more cutscenes. Also, if you guys need an L, I think I know where you can find one. Somebody wake me up when September ends. I must have been absolutely triggered after that loss because I'm just putting in work in the gym. 3.4 GPA. Good job hitting the books, young man. That's one less thing for me to worry about. Should worry about my interceptions, coach. That's the real issue here. Now we are up to 93 speed. So I guess you definitely have to stay on top of it if you want your speed and acceleration to be super high. My awareness is an abysmal 44. My elusiveness is 69, so we maxed that one out. That's the best attribute we have. Welcome. All right, so Eastern Michigan is a flipping 0-5. If we don't win this game, y'all can roast me as hard as you want, okay? I'll give you full permission. Also, I'll probably break my controller. Oh, here we go. I'm in open space now. That's gotta be a face mask. Tack some more yardage onto it, baby. Coach is running a lot of the option plays to start out. That's cool with me. It's a keeper. It's gonna be my best rushing attack all season long. I'm already calling it. I'm feeling like Eastern Michigan does not have the athletes that we've been stacked up against a lot this season. So I'm feeling very good about this game. Oh, get rid of that. <laughs> I, would, I, I pressed the ball to throw it away and he just threw it like towards my center of all places. It seems like that's asking to get picked off. Beam it over the top. That's gonna be... Well, it is a touchdown. I was, I was like, why not just run to the end zone? Why'd you go to the right? Awesome. Well, sorry, running back. I would give you the ball in any other game. Actually, no, I wouldn't. What am I talking about? But still, I need all the statistics. I need to pat it so I can see more Aaron Andrews. Oh, I'm going down. Oh, he caught that. What a catch. That's amazing. That's going to keep the drive alive. What a grab. Dude, we're having a hot start to this game, and I'm liking it. Screen pass. Gets it away, barely. Give him the blocks, guys. All right, I'm going to go for this. I don't think we can kick that field goal. Take off. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's a huge run from the quarterback. Beam it to the corner. What a catch. Touchdown number two. For big old Drewski. 
defense got a touchdown too. That's epic. So now we're up by 20 points here in the first half. We're slaughtering them. I'm gonna take off again. Oh, just pushing them to the ground. Still going. This is gonna be my game to just pad my stats. I can already feel it. We should have had this game to start the season, man. Build up our confidence. So we are just slapping around Eastern Michigan. To the drag route. Take it the distance for me. Some weird running lanes, man. The AI is significantly outdated, I'll tell you that. Tight end. Three touchdowns for me in the first half. We're getting a cutscene today, guys. And then defense gets us the ball here in the red zone. Amazing. Let's go to the other side. Power option this gang. Oh, we got the blocks. I'm zooming. I pitch it at the last moment. Nice. Forgot the pitch button for a second. Oh, we caught it. Fourth touchdown. Let's go. That was all of the receiver, too. 34 points in the first half. Defense is showing out. Run. I can outrun their corners. Eastern Michigan has no kind of athletes, man. This is amazing. This is going to be easily my career high in, like, everything. If we keep this up, I might not play in the second half at all. Get there, please. What a catch. No one's going to catch him. Five passing touchdowns in the first half alone. Coach, loving the four verticals right now, and I'm loving it too. Because, like, their team just can't keep up with it. O-line's giving me time to throw. Oh, he caught that one! Make it six! Their safeties are so bad. Six passing touchdowns already, man. I'm just going to keep sitting in streaks if this is going to be the case. Time to sprint. Oh, zigging and zagging. Going out of bounds. I don't even know what my stats are right now because it doesn't, like, update you throughout the game. But holy moly, I'm having so much fun. I'm not giving anybody else the ball. Nice toss. My QB rating is through the roof in this game. This is what I came to Vanderbilt for, to beat up on the 0-5 teams. I'm just going to quickly throw it to 81. Seven touchdowns. That's got to be a school record. Eastern Michigan is so bad. The difference between the SEC schools in Eastern Michigan is night and day, dude. Oh, they took me out. We dropped 62 on them. Make it 69. The perfect score to end the game. Nice job, Commodores. That was a blast. 69 to 0. Seven touchdowns. <laughs> you can't have a better score than that. Holy moly. Look at that stat line. 12 of 16, 378 yards, seven passing touchdowns, 75 rushing yards. Eastern Michigan earned that 0 and 5. Well, I guess 0 and 6 now record. Because holy moly, I did not move it off Heisman difficulty. You, you might think by throwing seven passing touchdowns, but no. They are just that bad. That's the tune-up game we needed, boys. And it was a perfect score, 69 to zero. That's S tier nice factor right there, boys. Welcome to another edition of EA Sports Road to Glory series. The buzz behind our subject continues to grow. And as always, I am here to provide you with the latest news. Fans are already salivating over the next three seasons after seeing what he did on the field this week. And for Vanderbilt, it's time to celebrate a new record. He can now claim to have thrown more passing touchdowns in a game than anyone else. Kirk Herbstreet joins us now to break down this historic game. All right, thanks, EA. For Vanderbilt, there's little to complain about this week. They won in convincing fashion. The victory was sweet, but the performance of our Road to Glory athlete was even sweeter. He not only won the Player of the Game award, but I've also just been told he's been named the National Player of the Week. He had no trouble finding a receiver downfield. And his ground game wasn't bad either. I've always loved this young man's potential as a quarterback, but today he put it all together. Whether it was running or throwing or the ability to improvise, today was the day that he'll always remember 
that he put it together for an outstanding game. We're in the middle of the year, and this guy just keeps doing it. Look for him to continue with that swagger throughout the rest of the season. All right, EA. Okay, Kirk, thank you. It's time to wrap up this midseason Road to Glory report. We'll be back the next time our student-athlete makes headlines in the college football world. For EA Sports, I'm Erin Andrews. Dude, I got, this has been an extremely fun Road to Glory experience because when you break a record in another game, you, you might high-five your teammates or something. But it might seem simple, but hearing like Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews like commentate over it like, they broke the record, that's insane, National Player of the Week. Like, I really feel that. It's really cool. It's been an unexpectedly awesome experience from NCAA 11. Plus five speed, plus seven acceleration. Hold on, I gotta go check. 89 speed, so it does go down every single week. That's kind of cool. You gotta keep hitting the gym if you wanna be on top of things. So I guess you can't improve throw power or accuracy until you like get older, like sophomore, junior, and then your senior season. I've underestimated this game. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. So now we're back in the 90s for our speed. That's awesome. Here we go. Final game of the episode. Time to get slaughtered by Georgia as we're playing on the road in Samford Stadium. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Defense getting us a stop. That means we get the ball in a very loud and very squiggly lined Sanford Stadium. I see you on the sidelines. Oh, he caught it. The safety stepped up. Keep running. Oh my God. We scored on the first play of the game. It's a miracle, boys. We couldn't do that again if we tried. That guy probably could have picked that off, but... Oh, there's pressing up. I'm so scared. Ah, get rid of it. Ah! Yeah, throw that away. Throw that away. Oh! <laughs> I think I heard my kneecap pop. That sounded so brutal. The sound effects in this game hurt something else. Go 27. That was actually a very good run. I'm impressed. Guess what, buddy? You earned yourself a halfback toss. Give me this first down. Never mind, you're tired after literally one play. Oh, that was a glitchy pitch. Well, first play was a touchdown. Second drive, we're gonna have to punt it. Oh, but George is playing like doo-doo. They haven't scored yet. Proud of you, defense. I'm scrambling. Oh, I shed off one. And I'm getting a first down. I don't want to jinx myself, but this is the best we've played against a higher ranked opponent so far this series. Oh, what a grab. He caught it in the air. Definitely the best stretch of games we played so far. I don't know what happened in that Eastern Michigan game. We got some of Michael's Jordan secret sauce or something. Oh, the open field hits are so powerful. Oh, he got past the safety. First and goal. I'm so lit right now. If we beat Georgia, this would be the best win we've had all season. Okay, why is chilling open? Touchdown. We're up by two touchdowns against Georgia. What is going on? Like, I don't understand. We didn't change the difficulty at all. We should be getting blown out in this game. Now we throw it to the running back. Awesome. Go 27. Oh, never mind. There's that SEC defense. I don't know if two touchdowns is enough to beat Georgia. What a grab. Dude, wide receivers are bailing me out. That should be a first down, right? Yeah, just fall forward and we got it. Oh, play action boot. What are you, who is my coach and why is he calling these garbage plays? Oh no, like I just get, why do we run play action on a second and 17? That's just asking for death. Stay in the block. You stay in the block. You run for the heavens. You just beg for mercy. Heave it. Well, that did not go far at all. I'm scrambling. Oh, oh, get past the second level. That would have been amazing if I just like ran all the way past him. Oh, hey, go, keep running. Get there. Oh, he dove for it. I like the effort. Go, go. That's got to be overthrowing him, though. Yep. 
Get there. Get there. First down. Call a timeout. Okay, good. Give me a touchdown. We need a four verticals touchdown. No, maybe that post. No, I'm going down. We're out of field goal range now, though, so that's not good. Oh, he caught it. We got to call that timeout. Can he make this super long field goal? Well, it's long for our kicker. I'll say that. It's a 40-something yard field goal. Oh, he, he got it. Oh, I thought he bricked it. Let's go. I'm scrambling too. I'm sliding and not dying this time. No, we don't run the football here at Vanderbilt. Not with our offensive line and running back. Are you mad, lad? That was doo-doo. Come on, I should have thrown it to Y. That's picked off. When you get the four verts and you blow it like that to throw an interception, it just really ruins your whole day. Come on, guys. This would be my best win of my college career. Throw it. No, B was wide open. What am I doing? Why did I run outside the pocket? Beautiful catch. Threw that one a little high. Get there. Come on. Intercepted. No, you got to be kidding me, bro. The safeties were blown at early game, and now they're just picking me off left and right. Fourth quarter. Time to nut up or shut up, boys. We got a little cocky early game. We were up 14-0. I see A over the middle. Okay, good. Good play. Oh, we beat him. The corner blew it. Another huge touchdown for Vanderbilt. Let's go. 59 yards as we take the lead and we get the ball back. We can put it away here. This is our chance. I'm just going to scramble. I'm going to keep the ball on the ground sliding down. Run it, fam. That's a first down. We get to kill some more clock. Oh, let's go. He broke a tackle. No, I'll just run for it. To the outside. I'll stay in bounds. I'll take a hit. I don't care. Two timeouts are gone. Throwing it is a risk, especially when I'm the quarterback. I am an interception waiting to happen. Give me a good run here, Win. His name is literally Win. If we give him the ball, we have a higher chance of getting a win. Oh, we broke one. Good. I'd rather kill a lot more clock and then go up by two scores than just trying to throw it. Or, or... We roll the dice. We do a Drewski move. Do something stupid and try to throw it. Run it in. He scrambles it in. Go celebrate with the mascot. I can't because he cut away too early. We rolled the dice and we got another touchdown. That should be our best chance yet. They don't even score again. We're going to get to kneel the ball and grab our victory. My two terrible interceptions does not blow it this time. In real life, I honestly cannot remember the last time Vanderbilt beat Georgia. On the road, nonetheless. This is a phenomenal victory for our team. And we win by two touchdowns, too. That's awesome. You better believe we're getting a cutscene for that one. That's, what, three games this episode and probably three cutscenes. We finish off with four touchdowns in this game. Three of them through the air, and one of them through the ground. Once again, our Road to Glory series is ready to bring you a report on one of the most exciting players in college football. His performance this week was second to none. A great game on the field resulted in his fourth player of the game honor this season. For more insight on the game, let's send it over to Kirk Herbstreet. Thanks, Aaron. For Vanderbilt, they executed their game plan and walked out with a W. For the subject of our Road to Glory series provided the biggest headlines. He was throwing it all over the place and had no trouble finding his receivers. The game that our Road to Glory student-athlete had this past week exemplifies the reason why we selected to follow him throughout his career. He was an important factor in his team's victory. He demonstrated big playability and great awareness. 
And when his team needed him most, he came through. You know, this guy seems to get better each week and seems more and more comfortable with his role within this team. All right, EA. Okay, Kirk, thank you. That's going to do it for our segment this week. We'll be back again the next time our student athlete makes headlines on his road to glory. I'm Aaron Andrews for EA Sports. Well, that's a phenomenal way to end the episode. Finish off this one with a legend score of 125. Back-to-back -back wins and our best win of the season so far against Georgia as we are now 500 on the year, 3-3, three 1-2 and three, one and two in the conference, which is very good for Vanderbilt, especially a win against Georgia. That does not happen very often. 69 completions on the year, 1,440 passing yards, 15 touchdowns to 6 interceptions. Almost half of my touchdowns came in that Eastern Michigan game. To put that in perspective, we do not have a high completion percentage, though, just hovering around 48%. But anyways, guys, hope you are enjoying this series. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Once again, the best way to see this series again is to hit the like button. It's how I choose what I upload next. Anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace.